Hey, what is up everybody? How are you all doing out there? This is Reagan and thanks for tuning back into our channel. In today's video, we are going to unbox and review this newly released figure of Hot Toys and this is the Assault Tank Commander from the Star Wars Rogue One. MMS 587A16 scale collectible figure. And before we start, if you're new here to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so you will be notified once I upload a new video, especially Hot Toys. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so this is the art box of Assault Tank Commander figure and I would say it looks really good. It looks really neat. That black and white combinations are really nice. Of course, the common art box of Hot Toy Star Wars figures, the black box, the design, the picture of the figure in the middle which is really nice pose I would say. The logo of Star Wars right here and of course at the bottom print, the common theme for Rogue One Story right there also really neat. And at the back, of course, the common warnings, hot toys, websites, and shops here in Hong Kong. Okay, so I'm excited to share with you guys this one. So let's open it. Wow, look at that cover. That art cover print right there, which is really nice too. Right? So they added some extra like color to contrast the design of the figure which is really nice right great pose right there okay so anyway let's move on to this packaging right here i could smell that uh, new figure guys let me remove this box right here there you go of course right here is the Yes, the instruction sheet, there's no picture, so I thought it's like kind of like a reverse. <laughs> Very simple one. I could see that, yeah, it's just one piece. That's it. Wow. <laughs> it's just showing already like uh, some warnings and then that's it. Cautions. So anyway, right there. Oh my goodness. There you go. So kind of like not a um, black and white. Uh, actually, just the top. It's more of like a black and white combination color of the figure, but uh, the pants is a little bit of like uh, green, kind of like a uh, fatigue, right? Yes. Okay. So let's. Uh, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna change my lens so you guys can see it closely. Right. So I'm gonna start off with this extra joint right here. Two pieces, black color, right there, small one. Okay. And then next up right here is a pair of holding the rifle gesture or his pistol. There you go. Very nice weathering effects right there. And the details. Okay. Nice. Right here is a fist gesture. Okay. Right here. Nice. Very nice details, I would say. Okay, so extra two pairs of interchangeable hands. And then next up right here is his pistol. Right there. Nice details. Wow. Okay. Of course, you could move this one. Some movable parts. Right there. Very nice weathering effects. And... Uh, Paint applications, I would say, looks good. Not sure if this one could be, uh, we could detach this one. No, it's not. Okay, right there. Nice. Of course, the figure. That's it. So not many accessories, guys. So only the pistol and the extra interchangeable hands. So let's remove the plastic first. Bam. Nice. Wow. Look at those paint applications, the weathering effects. Nice. Wow, amazing. Right? Whoa. Nice. Dang. 
looks really good guys wow wow nice i mean not many accessory only the pistol but you can see the figure i would say you know it's already worth it you know you should get this one again if you are a fan of uh, rogue one story or you know star wars or troopers oh man this one is a mass already <laughs> okay i'm ready telling you in advance okay so let's get the base wow look at the print guys wow this is uh one thing that i really love on rogue one um version of star wars figures is because of this base their base are i don't know i mean like it's really good i mean because of those prints oops okay so that's a separate print right there Ooh, nice i don't wanna <laughs> i don't wanna use it dang look at that of course the common design for star wars base right there okay and the name plate it's so nice but this print right here wow i love the combination of course i love brown color so that's why you know it looks really good in my eyes wow nice i really love the design of this uh you know rogue one team dang wow okay so i wish you know um i think i only miss uh one trooper uh short trooper the rogue one uh version but uh huh. and also some some stormtroopers too i miss those uh i mean i didn't pre-order so i'm kind of like uh in the hunt right now of those rogue one story of star wars figures so anyway let's move on so i'm gonna put the holder we're gonna oh yeah forgot this one this one too that we're going to attach it here okay let's let's remove this one first wow that's really tight guys right so okay let's do this very quick so i think that's pretty much everything included in the box so what we're going to do now is check the articulations okay all right so i'm gonna start with the head of course you can twist that it's very smooth and tight at the same time so it's still new and uh looking down there you go oh the neck is quite stiff guys so you have to use some you know a little bit force there when moving that neck there you go nice pose right there and then up looking up oops yeah there you go look straight and then up hmm, i think that's the max yeah yeah that's the max guys for the looking up not bad and then to the side tilt oh wow it's quite tight too okay other side damn <laughs> yeah it's really tight i mean the neck part is a little bit stiff which is good you know at least it can really hold some poses there but anyway yeah so that's the articulations on the head okay nice and then to the shoulder part oops that armor there you go all the way 90 degrees of course there you go nice okay and that movable uh, shoulder armor there you go so now it's not aligned so you have to move the arms here okay, I mean, this one's a little... yeah there you go and then moving the arms to the front this one is for sure above 90 degrees there you go so it's quite hard to i mean it's you know you have to be easy on the shoulder because it's it's not easy to rotate oh, yeah so let's move on to the other side this one yeah see i can feel some stuff there but you know you could uh move the arms all the way uh like above 90 degrees same other side yeah it's just that you have to find the right angle there you go okay 
Yeah, surrender, surrender. Yeah. <laughs> right there. Okay. And then, of course, the back, the same thing. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So let's move on to the elbows part. Let's move the arms. Right there. Wow. Double jointed. Look at that, guys. That is really cool. Yeah. Nice. Other side. Let's try another side. The arm more. There you go. Look at that, guys. See this one? So double jointed. How come the other side looks better? I think it's the same. Yeah. Wow. That is really cool close to the helmet right so it's like he's about to you know take off <laughs> his uh, helmet right there <laughs> nice that is really cool pose right go nice nice okay so let's move on the wrist part uh, again the wrist joint is again it's easy to detach though it's tight i would say so it's not loose Okay, so let's move on. Wow. Of course, this one is for sure almost almost similar to the short trooper uh, twist. At least it's separated from the. Hmm. I cannot twist. How come? Look. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the max for that twist. See. Ah, uh, there you go. Okay, right there. I forgot to show you guys. Yeah, this one. Yeah, you can swivel that uh, that elbows part. Also that. Uh, yeah. Oh no, the arms. Yeah, you can swivel the arms. Also here. Forgot to show you guys this one. Sorry, my bad. And again, let's move on to the twist. I think that's the max. I think it looks good. Okay, and then uh, crunch not much because of the armor right there okay you could do but very minimal i would say yeah well you could push more but i can see you can see oh it's quite loose but i mean like you can see that i can move the upper body easily so it's not that really hard to do some you know uh poses there on the waist part okay right there some dust it looks like uh, some some weathering effects inside All right I'm not sure so anyway yeah see it's quite loose wow didn't expect that but yeah I think it's fine it's not really a big deal just showing you guys so let's move on to the leg part yes 90 degrees right there right and other side Bam. Okay, and then bend. Let's bend the knees. Then here for some kneel down position. Yeah, nice. Crunch in a little bit. There you go. Nice. Okay. I think this the these knees are double jointed too. Yes, for sure. Okay. Bam. Okay, right there. Nice. So let's move on to the ankle part. This one, yeah, you could really notice that uh, similar to some Trooper 2. Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, it looks good. Flex, you see, the flex. Right, and then point. Wow, that is, I mean, like really nice joint, right? And then side. Wow, nice, see? Dang, how come we don't get this to other figures, right? And then of course, to lock that, uh, yeah, using the, this, um, uh, was this, the cult uh, armor or the shaft, okay, side, side, um, um, there you go, twist, nice, and it's quite tight too, wow. so, yeah, okay, and then, Let's move on. I think that's it. That's it for the whole articulations of the figure. Great. Okay. So let's.
let's check some movable parts of course the helmet you could uh, detach that well, let me show you guys at least Ooh, that's easy detachable helmet underneath how it looks like and then the neck part right here there you go nice that's very neat too okay let's put it back there you go wow and then again the shoulder armor is movable detachable it has some uh, garter design right there also other side okay and then also this one detachable and movable some armors on the arm also the forearm also here i really love the paint application and those red wing effects are really nice right okay so and then this one too for sure this one is detachable but not actually not really <laughs> yeah you have to break it if you're going to detach this uh body armor right there see so there you go that's how it looks like there you go and then they're using that uh, again that kind of like mesh uh fabric material inside right kind of like net right there nice at least they're using a fabric material for the suit so at least it won't uh, you know we're not gonna get any you know flaking in the future so you can see this one rubber hard plastic for that armor very nice details i would say and the paint application looks really really good and then this belt right here this one is velcro guys Ooh, so that utility belt okay uh huh so this is how it looks like so at least you guys have an idea and this one is detachable the belt is detachable guys using the velcro design as you can see right there from the back uh if you want to like clean or uh, fix the body yeah you could detach this one okay looks good this one looks really neat right this utility belt so let's put it back right oh other, other side okay so and then yeah this one is you could move this one but uh, those pouches is non-detachable okay very nice details and then right here of course this uh leg armor on the calf uh the shaft is also detachable and easy move yeah you could easily move that you know which is very common for troopers right and yeah i think that's it that's it for the detachables and uh, movable part okay so now let's try to attach this uh, pistol pistol blaster using so left and right you could use the left and right if you think you're right-handed then use the right or if you if you are left-handed then use the left hand okay so I'm gonna use the right hand because I'm a right-handed. <laughs> there you go. So this is how it looks like, guys. That's really, really cool. And actually, this one is kind of like this too. Yes. Wow. Let's see if we can achieve this kind of pose. Let me detach this. Uh, this one. Attach it here, and then this one. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, I think uh, it's kind of like uh, one of the <laughs> annoying part, you know, doing some poses on the on the troopers because of their armors. Like you know, it kept moving so. Actually, it should be close to your body if you're going to do this one. Because if I'm just doing this one, it's quite, it's quite hard, you know. <laughs> Extending my arms to the figure and kind of like, uh, right. So there you go, guys. So already attached the pistol blaster using both hand uh, that uh, uh, holding the weapon gestures. Okay right there so you could do that of course the common one is like this one the wait the left hand underneath the 
gun right here like this okay so that's the common one and uh, if you want to do something different like yeah you could do this one too okay <laughs> right that's really cool i think that's it and i forgot to mention yeah you could squeeze that arms to the front so you know if you want more closer uh what's this like look of those arms to the gun or to the kind of like pointing somewhere okay so you could squeeze this one like back stretch that back uh, that shoulder and then to the front squeeze it right there okay yes wait let me there you go so that's how it looks like nice that's really cool very quick guys dang Overall, I think this Assault Tank Commander looks absolutely fantastic. A must-have in your Star Wars collection. It may also be a good addition if you're collecting the Rogue One Storyline version of Hot Toys. One could really tell from the detail of the patterns that this is well-crafted. The scuffing or scrapping plus the weathering effects are amazing. You will definitely love this figure. Together with other Rogue One Troopers, one could help but drool and want it badly. With all things considered, plus all the dynamic poses it can do, it will definitely make you decide to get it. Great job, Hot Toys. That's about it, guys. Let me know your thoughts on this figure and feel free to comment down below in the comment section. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you tuning back. Till my next video, peace.